listen to me once you realize who you are you stop operating in desperation you stop saying yes to stuff you ain't supposed to be saying yes to so here's my big problem with a lot of y'all is your belief system is off like everybody can see how sweet you are people are commenting on you could do this and you could do that and you're the only one ain't caught up with it yet See, why are you always on beast mode? I'm shocked more people are on beast mode. There are people who live from check to check and they're comfortable. It's the weirdest thing and I'm like, dude, you broke. And you broke on several levels. We're not talking about Sally Mae. You still on your grandma. I'm talking about you need to pass your grandma out. Listen to me, unless you're number one in your industry, you shouldn't be chilling. And if you're number one in your industry, you got enough common sense to know you better not be chilling. Every single day of my life, I feel like giving a hundred. Every single day, somebody said yesterday, E.T., you gave 120, what you gonna do tomorrow? I said, I don't know, give 140. I don't know, but I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. My son's counting on me. I don't have days to wait. There's nothing wrong with the opportunity. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. You're giving 50. And you won't with these people who are giving sweat, who are giving blood, who are giving tears. You want what they paid for, and it ain't free. You don't belong at the bottom, and it's time for you to get your butt from down there. It's time for you to stop being comfortable at the bottom. Get your butt up and get to where you're supposed to be. The Bible says he was in a big pit and he came to himself and he went home. Get your butt up. You are a royal priesthood. Get where you belong. Do what you're supposed to do. Live like you're supposed to live. You got all the stuff. You got you got it all. But you will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your faith has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your two-pair background has nothing to do with my work ethic. You will not outwork me. On your jet, you will not outwork me. In your fitness, you will not outwork me. You will not outwork me. Get up! Act like you playing basketball. Act like you playing football. Compete! That's what bothers me. Many of y'all are not competing. I need effort. Compete! Go to class. I just left the school telling these kids. Act like you playing football. Go in that dog on classroom. Compete! Many of you have lost your competitive air. Get your competitive edge back. I'm not against no other motivational speaker. I'm just competitive. Some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop and you cut off beast mode. And what I'm here to tell you is, if you tell that thing, I'm here just like you here. And I promise you, I ain't leaving without the degree. I ain't leaving. I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave without that dream. I will not leave this opportunity. I get it. You don't punish yourself. Somebody say, eat, you losing weight. I punish myself. I don't eat meat no more. That's a punishment. Because I remember when I was eating meat, I didn't look like this. I had to give something up to go up. What do you give up when you don't make the 203 a day? Do you not watch TV? That's your problem. You get to watch TV and not make money and still survive. You, you got to hear what I'm saying. The reason why you broke is because you're getting a reward and you ain't worth it. I'm not scared that some kid's going to take my spot. If he does, he's going to have to do it with sweat. He's going to have to do it with tears. He's going to have to do it with blood. He is going to have to get up at 2.30 in the morning. If he can get up every day at 2.30, he deserves to take my spot. Some people are taking your spot, and they shouldn't take it, but because you're average, it's easy to take your spot. It's easy. It's easy to get to the place before you get there. It's easy to take that client before you get to him. It's easy. It's easy to beat you. Why? you average. Everybody wants to be a beast. Till it's time to be beast. There's nothing that can stop me, because my motives are pure. And the pure your motives are, that you guarantee yourself success. When you're doing stuff for yourself, you can't guarantee it's gonna blow up. And no disrespect, and that's why I need you to get your, your motives have to be pure. It's like, because what happens is, for each motive, is they have a different level of energy. Some of you, you have like big dreams, but your energy is like a triple A battery. The battery gotta be able to push that dream. If you got a big old dream, but you got a small engine, you're not gonna be able to push it. It's real.
things were easy, everybody would make them happen. The problem is that most people, I watch most people, they like, they can't get up in the morning. They ain't got no energy. I'm walking through the airport running almost. I, most people that I'm with, they don't got the energy to keep up with me. I'm like, boo, ain't nothing wrong with you. You just ain't got the stamina. You just ain't got the energy. You can't smart everything. You can't outthink everything. You can't, some stuff is just, you got to be powerful. It's just some stuff that you got to have stamina for. It's just, you just too slow. It just take you too long. You wake up, take you three weeks to do it. It can take two, three, four hours to do. It don't make you a bad person, but you're going to forever be average because to be great, you got to keep up.